I couldn't light him. Yeah. I'm wearing a fucking, uh, like, fur cloak thing here. I don't really think I care. Okay, I'm gonna check this, oh, they're uh, telling us to look out for the acid man. trap. Is that an intelligence check? Yeah, you actually, on, on the ogres, you find about you find about 10 gold between the two ogres. Uh, in the in the barrels, there's there's basically some wine, there's some grains, and actually the the grain barrels are really damp, so it's sort of like a mush. So it's really not it's not edible. Them furs worth anything? They're just normal quality. I mean, it's it's not any kind of armor, but you're more than welcome to take some if you'd like. Hope they're not worth anything. I don't want them. <laughs> Typical adventurer. I love it. Well, you know, we have limited uh, carrying capacity. That's true. That's very true. This fog of war. Still a long corridor. You kind of work your way up a ramp a little bit. Lots of debris on the ground. Lots of dust. Some footprints as well. And then you can actually see a a turn to the south and also to the north as well. Yes, you guys are spreading out a little bit too much right now, anyways. So yes, uh, the ranger, you can see uh, the path leads north, and also the barbarian down here, you can see that the, the halls kind of trek back and uh, head back to the east. And as you get closer, you can actually hear from the south. You, you can actually hear the sound of whips cracking and uh, some screams. Dogs as well. Yes, yeah, so it it actually seems oh, like there's, there's an room down there. Uh, maybe a female. If anybody speaks Elvish, maybe you can. Uh, I think there's somebody in the party that can speak Elvish, but you can actually hear some can. Elvish dialogue going on down here as well. Basically, can I do what you can hear is uh, somebody is actually begging uh, to please stop. Oh, damsel in distress. Oh. Right, you said that's to the south. Yep, All the way, let me up the women. Our right, good charging. Legalist to the rescue. All right. So before we before we get to this, uh, what you see here is a looks to be a prison type of area and there are several humanoid prisoners that are chained to the walls and also show evidence of cruel treatment various weapons and implements of torture are scattered about this chamber two chairs and a small table stand near a central fire pit a key ring hangs on the wall in the southwest corner and you see two hobgob actually the the hobgoblins have seen you as well because uh, they saw the light coming down the hallway, and they were basically uh, torturing these, the two females that are chained to the wall. Are are, are they clothed? <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> God. <Stupid. laughs> They're scantily dressed. That's for sure. We talking like a 
PG-13 or, or like a hard R? Uh, we're going to say probably NC-17. Nice. Cool. I snap a mental image for later. Oh my god. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to roll initiative for the for the hobgoblins. So I'll probably roll shitty like that. That's just uh, so. that cleric buff that he put on me earlier for the plus one AC. Is that still kicking or is that faded? How long does that last? Is that an hour? Or is that eight hours? I think it was what? ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah, we'll say that it's it's faded out by now, so. All right, adjust it. You could get that scary looking ghost face off. <laughs> My god. All right, so the, let's see, 16. Actually, they're going to be right in the middle, actually. Between Varlin and Darb. So, Raven, you are up first. Oh, goody. I want to pop some tags in their ass. Alright. 17 to hit. Alright, you hit. They're actually really tough opponents. They're, they're in really nice armor nice. as well. They have 10 shields. damage. And you are hitting a armor class of 16, which you did hit, and you they take 10 damage, so. Alright. So, Legolas, you're up. That'll be the only hit of the fight. Well, you've hit Garnish a couple times in a row now, so well, you're all right, man. The one in the back or the front? The one in the far back, yeah. Okay. Armor class 16, sir. Nope. That is a miss. Thankfully not a one, though. Yep. So next Kinda wanted to shoot the monk again. Varlin. I'm gonna to cast the, the cantrip again. guidance on the I guess it'd be the rogue right there. For one minute, the willing creature will have called upon for good aid, gets a roll of dice four added for good aid before the spell ends, the target can roll yes that okay. Choice after. You cut out, man. Yeah, let's just uh, try and get through this. It uh, adds a dice four aid. That's not healing, right? That's just for. What spell again? The guidance. A little cantrip. Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool cantrip. Yeah, it takes uh, one minute. Well, it's actually one action, lasts one minute. And when you touch the willing creature, uh, you call upon favor from the gods, and the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to one ability check of its choice. So you can actually choose the you can choose to roll the die before or after rolling that ability check. So that's kind of cool. So if you do any any ability checks for the next minute, you will get a D4 bonus. And who has guidance on them? I'm hitting the rogue, I believe. Okay. So Mr. Rogue, I'm going to go ahead and add a little little button on you there. I'm going to add a little red button on you. That's to remind you that you have guidance. And if you need to make a skill check uh, before the end of one minute, which would be 10 rounds, because every round is six seconds. So you will have a 1d4, and you can you can choose. So it's it's, it's a versatile spell. So All right. That's cool. So that is a that's a one-action cast. Yes, Very good, I'll end my turn. Oh, okay, all right. So now the... The two goblins are up. And the goblin bashes in this uh, elf's face. No, I'm just kidding. You can actually you can all actually see several other humanoids in the cages. You can see a little gnome with a pointed hat 
and several dwarves as well. And the dwarf is yelling, Get me out of here! <laughs> Alright, the, these are actually rather hard, uh, rather large hobgoblins. These are larger hobgoblins than, than what you've seen before. And this hobgoblin is going to attack you, Mr. Barbarian. And as a 14 versus armor class, is that a miss or a hit? Uh, that was 14 exactly. Uh, so you hit. So your damage is going to be 9. And his second attack, he gets two attacks, is an 18 versus armor class, which is a hit. And you take an additional 3 damage. Oof! The second... The second Hobgoblin... He... Targets... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Raven, you get... You have four glowing orbs that jet directly to you, and you take a total of 12 damage. You get hit for 12 force damage. This, the one in the back, shoots magic missile at you. And you get hit with four orbs. Lovely. Yes. Ooh, man, that hurt, actually. All right, Darb, you are up. Hobgoblins that cast magic missile. I love it. Let's see. I will. What's up, Kid Wizzle? Did you uh, go lurking or something? Tiptoe in. <clears throat> and what is this thing right next to the hobgoblin by Jason? That's a sort of like a torture rack. Like a rack or something. It can is I rack, occupy sure. that? I, I'll tell you what. Like right here. You can do an acrobatics check, seeing that you're a monk. You can do an acrobatics check to jump up on that and jump up. Well, to jump up and down it and to position yourself behind the hobgoblin, if you'd like to do that. And if you do that, then All you're right. going to need to do me. Uh, you're going to need to do me. Do me, big boy. Do you? Do Ooh. a uh, one d mm. twenty. Basically, just a dex roll. The dex macro. So. He's thinking right. in the back of his head, where's the bag? Oh, I, the bag's yeah. right here. <laughs> Can I mean, we put that back on at least? Sure, yeah, I'll put the bag hot. back on. God. No, all right, so instead of jumping behind it, can I jump on it and kind of kick him in the face like I'm working the torture rack, like the gymnast sure. bull thing or whatever the hell it's called? Absolutely. You man, know you what I'm talking that, about, yeah. right? You can kick him in the head. All right. Kick him in the head. Here's my dex check. I'll put the bag back on for him. I think that's what I was supposed to roll, right? Yeah, the dex skill check. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I had to yeah. put the bag back on, so sorry about that. Oh, my bad. I put the bag back on for you, big boy. Yeah. <laughs> actually got... see how the skill checks work is like this. Uh I choose a DC number, which is a target number. And if you, what you did, I had a, a DC of 10. That was my number that I chose. So you were, so you successfully pulled off your acrobatic skill check. So you were able to tumble up onto the torture rack, and now you can make your attack roll. All right, thank you. Hey, he requested the bag back on my head, so I figured, what the hell, I'll do that. And that is a hit. That's a very nice kick, actually. So you're able to definitely smash his head, man. You like a roundhouse. Would that knock him back any? No, it's just regular damage. All right, five damage. So Ivanez, you're up now. Did you say me? Yep, I've I'm been sorry. as. Yep, sorry. All right, cool. Take a break. I got it. All right, I will attack the one in front of me. Exactly. 
Ask the brown bag. <laughs> I tried to get the blow-off doll look for this, so I figured it it almost worked. What'd you say their AC was? AC is 16, so I guess that's Ooh, a miss. Swing and a miss. So are you raging or are you reckless attacking? No, I'm not raging at okay. the moment. All right. So you can get advantage on an attack if you want. If you want to use your reckless attack, I think it is, your level 2 skill. Sure, why not? Much better. That is a hit, so you can go ahead and do your damage. I hit oh, that bastard pretty shit, hard. Shit, hell yeah you did. Damn, that's almost max damage. That's really nice. Yeah, he's definitely bloodied. When, when I say bloodied, basically he's half-life, so... I don't know how you guys do it, how Rob does it and stuff, but... Usually half-dead when I say bloodied, so... Alright, Raven, you're up. Gotcha. Usually I just run up and kill it. They're fighting two hobgoblin person. leaders, basically. Actually, they're really they're really That's tough. Nice. Actually, they have a high armor class, and one is a uh, basically has magic. So, all right. And I'll hide right here. <laughs> all right. So now the ranger's up. But yes, uh, Panda, they are fighting two hobgoblins. I'm shoot at the guy, the hobgoblin in the back again. And then uh, there's a couple surprises for him as well up ahead. Okay. That is a miss, Mr. Kid Weasel. Varlin, you are up. All right. Seeing that massive jujitsu style kick from him, can I occupy the area in front or where he's at now and swing on the hobgoblin? Uh, sure. I'll I'll say that you push over the the barbarian a little bit, kind of force him out of the way a little bit. All right, then I will try to swing on this guy. What's up, Benjamin? Spellbooks like all over my page. Hang on a second. Good to see you tonight, bro. Not much, man. Here we go. Ah, that's a nice hit. 21. For all your damage. Alright. 7, that's not too bad. So every time I move, do you guys get a lot of noise from the, from the bag on my head or what? Alright, so now the... Hobgoblins are going to attack again. And he is actually going to, seeing that you hit him fairly hard with the two handed axe, you've definitely gained his attention. So now he is going to attack you with advantage. So you knew, you knew I was going to do that to you, man. And 15 armor class? Well, 15 versus armor class, is that going to be a hit? Yeah, the Barbarian has a 14, I believe. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. My wife just got home. My bad. Uh, that's no problem, man. Yeah, 14 hits. Alright, you take 9 piercing damage. Copy. And now the second Hobgoblin uh, expends his last second level spell slot. And let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, wow, Jason, you are the lucky recipient of a second level f uh, magic missile, which you take 16 damage. Oh, I'm unconscious. You absorb four glowing orbs. How many hit points did you have before you went to zero? I had 15. Okay, so basically you're at zero. 
the way that death works is uh, you're not dead, you're just unconscious. But I'll explain that whenever you we get to your turn, so uh, which will be fairly soon. All right, so Darb, you're up now. You just you just watched your barbarian counterpart beside you just take four glowing uh, purplish orbs straight to the face, and he went down unconscious. All right. Um, I will. Hey, what's up there, Poplock? Thanks uh, for checking out the channel. Fourth edition, I do not play, man. I'm sorry about that. One in the back. Since he's a caster. I don't have any games that start at 9 they p.m. Look Actually, I do. Right? Yeah, they look identical for the most part. I do have a game that starts Saturday at 9 p.m., but they are full. They have and six I players, will... so. But that's my latest game, and it's Punch on Saturday him. night, and it is D and D next. So, and yep, yeah, definitely missed. You want to spend a key point or anything, or do you have any key points left? No, I'm this out. This is D and D next. All Unless right. I, do you get key points every? Because it it says level three, and then it says next to it, it says three. Now I'm guessing yeah. it just yeah. that's your max, right? Yes, yeah, so you get three before you have to uh, take a long rest to get your key points back. So oh, you, just if you've sure. already, yeah, if you've already used your three key points, then yeah, you're pretty much out of them, and you'll have to take a long rest. But uh, after this combat, would probably be a good time to take a long rest. So yeah, uh, yeah. Tonight is a player game, mythic. All right. So now you're up there, Ivan. Is in the way. The way that death works in Dungeons and Dragons is very, 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 very forgiving in D and D next. How it works is if you take basically almost, uh, you can actually be one shot, but you have to you have to go to zero, and then the extra damage after zero has to, has to I believe it's equivalent to half your life. It may even be equivalent to all of your life, but seeing that that is not the case, you only want one over. Uh, you are at zero hit points. And now, I want you to make a con DC 10 saving throw. So roll your con saving throw, and you, it's basically it's going to work like this. Three strikes and you're out. If you fail three saving throws, you die. Okay, alright, so that's your first one. Okay, you should stabilize now, seeing that you rolled a 14. So it's very forgiving. It's not like, you know, when we played in first edition or or, you know, basic Dungeons and Dragons, you get a negative 10 and you're dead. It doesn't work like that anymore in D&D Next. So, you basically... Well, that's you, cool. Yeah, you fit, you uh, pass your saving throw. Uh, so, that is your action. And now Raven's up. And I will let you know what happens next round. Cool, thank you. That's good to know. I was getting my noose ready. I was going to go hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Raven, you're up, man. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. I'm going to take this bag off as well again, guys. Right there. <sighs> I'm better. going to attempt to assassinate. And sneak attack. Whoa, easy killer. You can only get do that, one. Get uh, that right? plus four, right. too. The spiritual guidance. Look at that There's rogue. a port There's around the first... Me. Plus four to apply to attack. User joined your channel. Yeah, he would die if he... Basically, he was at 15 hit points, has, and he took 16 damage, so... Or he was at 14 and took 15. One Did you hear two, me? So. I'm right here. What'd you say? The plus four doesn't apply to an attack, does it? Uh, the... You're to hit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why? Why wouldn't it? What? I mean, well, what, it's you an want ability, to, so. What you're wanting to use assassinate? Yeah, it's assassinate and sneak attack. Well, I don't think you I can don't... do both. I think you can just do one. You can do both. Does it literally say you can do both? It says if you use sneak attack on such a, it's a critical hit, and you get automatic full damage.
but doesn't assassinate work on on a target that doesn't that hasn't had an attack yet? That's how well, assassinate works. Well, I'm the start right? of the next round. Yeah, but it's it's the the target's already had an attack, so assassinate is. So it doesn't go by a round. No, it doesn't go by round. No. Well, that's lame. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. But you can still get a sneak attack in, which that's a it's hit. It's 20 to hit. Yeah, you hit. Uh, he's got a 16 armor class, so. But yeah, that's that's how assassination works. All the targets that are basically vulnerable that hasn't had an attack yet, so. And that's 10 damage. Nice hit. Yeah, actually, you take him down, man. You're getting all the kill and blows tonight, dude. It's all about typing. Takes him down, man. You want any movements yeah, or anything? Killed an ogre. You just killed the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm gonna stay put. Oh, I've I've only been DMing for a couple months now, Pop Lock, so I'm still learning on dungeon. Until that other one engages well, so. the monk, I really Nobody else wanted to do it, so if I wanted to play I had to fucking dungeon master, so all right, so Varlin, you're up. All right, I have the one. I've uh, been playing D and D since left, right, the early '80s, though. You have what one spell left? One of the first levels, yes. Okay. You skip the ranger. I've been playing since uh, fourth grade, which is, I believe, '83 or '84. Yes, go ahead, ranger. Yes, I'm 40 years old, playing Dungeons and Dragons and loving it. Gonna attack the guy in the back again. Okay. It's a miss. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the barbarian and uh, get a healing word. Okay. That will definitely that will definitely help him out. That's for sure. What was can the total? I, can I always um, do that as a second level spell, or is that cost as a point? First, that is a seeing that you have one first level spell, you will cast the healing word as a first level spell, which will be a one d eight plus two plus three. So there's there's the plus two for the one d eight. Okay. So a total of seven for him? That's it. Okay, is that a total movement? Actually, it's six. Actually? It's plus two. I'm sorry, not plus three more. So you, you heal for six. And yes, you can move. And you can attack. Because uh, healing word is a swift action. So Can I give him, uh, as an action, a potion of healing? Since he's, like, really bad off? Hmm... You already heal him, Put so he's not, he's not oh, he's conscious not totally, like, anymore. Really bad. No, he's okay. not. He's not. No, he's come too. So. Yeah, I'm at six. So. Yeah, he's came too, so he's he's not unconscious anymore. But you can yeah, I'll move forward and uh, try to drop this magic user up here. Then. All right. All right. You better hurry up and drop because he's fixing to drop a fireball on y'all's asses. Just kidding on the fireball, by the way. One second, my drop down window is acting kind of funny. And here we go. Twenty one hit and six to the damage. All right. All right. Alright, so the Hobgoblin Leader is. Uh, I need to look up one spell really quick. Okay. The Hobgoblin is going to cast Charm Person. Alright, so now I'm going to roll a 
I was going to roll a 1d8. 